Dice fans, it's Ross from the weekly Dice Arena. Probably don't need these. Coming at you with the build for Tuesday. I announced it on Thursday, but I am here to remind you and show you what I'm going to play. So we're playing the Monster Mash format this week in, uh, in uh, honor of the October month being all spoopy and whatnot. Monster Mash format is Golden Age. You may use any character that has the monster banner affiliation from any of the D&D sets. However, your basic actions must be modern legal. So it's sort of a hybrid of golden and uh, blah, 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 golden and modern. That's the other word. But let me show you what I'm going to be playing this week, if that so happens. Star of the show, which I imagine I'm not the only one building around this card. It's super good. Uh, rare Umber Hulk, Winfield, and reroll all opposing level 1 and level 2 characters. Move that die. Any die that shows energy to the used pile. That is so gross. With that, I'm going to be using Gelatinous Cube. Uh, it is an obnoxious. If you've never played against this card, it is so obnoxious. Also, you'll notice I can pay shield here, which the entirety of my team is shields, which is great. Another great card, Giant Spider. People really like the common, but this is the rare. Reroll any character die damaged but not KO'd by Giant Spider at the end of the attack step. If it rolls energy, KO the die. So as you can see here, we're going to be using mechanics to get rid of uh, characters instead of necessarily combat damage. We do have Tree Ent with the global here. Prevent the next two damage that you take from an ability or action die this turn. Uh, I imagine this is going to be pretty good against um, Breath Weapon. So that's what that's on there for. Iron Golem, always good. In case you need to start cycling some of these wind-fielded effects, like Finthaza or any other wind field does I have on here? Anywho, anytime I need to be cycling things, Iron Golem's good. Also, it is a good redirect, so it has tons of stats that it can soak for the rest of my team, which is uh, also, uh, uh, otherwise relatively sort of weak in the defense area. Lizard Folk. Target equipped character gets 2 plus 2 D. I don't have any equipment on my team, but maybe someone will bring me some. Uh, also gets plus 2 A while it has gear attack. Maybe we'll switch that out. I, I was thinking I was going to play with gear, but I'm not. Finthaza, sweet sweet uh, shield synergy here. Oh, this isn't the, the shield one. Man, I just I, I half-baked this whole team. Misdirection, one of my favorite actions. Definitely going to be playing with that just because it's going to be awesome. And Splinter's teaching the OG shield global right here resurrection and this one if when you think of shield globals it's those two so it's going to be uh it's going to be some shenanigans for sure i'm really excited about this format i know there's other people that have been brewing up some things uh but october is going to be real fun come on out tuesday 9 p.m we're going to be playing the monster mash format on twitch it's going to be great see you guys soon peace